However, I found some misbehavior and unstable few weeks ago. First. The battery drained fast. Second. The video playback is choppy when video editing with Adobe Premiere Pro. Third. The cooling fan was so loud. Fourth. The machine quit itself without warning. This Toshiba Kira Ultrabook is still in a good shape, but the cooling fan running crazy like a jet plane. First of all, download Throttle's top and Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, found the compatible version for your machine, for testing the machine's CPU temperature. Please follow the links below to download if you need. Throttle stop shows the CPU idling temperature is around 67 degrees Celsius and rise to the CPU safety working temperature 105 degrees Celsius under stress test. The CPU temperature is way too high, that's why the machine quit itself for safe. Use Intel Extreme Tuning Utility Stress Testing, let the CPU running hard to see the stress level. Since every machine is different, it just for reference only, you should do some research for your own before doing anything. I'm not responsible for any harm or damage. Loosen all the screws and open up the back cover. Locate the cooling fan and heat sink, the CPU should be under the heat sink. Loosen the cooling fan and heat sink screws, leave them aside. Use a piece of plastic to remove the old thermal paste as much as you could on the CPU and heat sink. Then use a Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol to rub off the thermal paste residuals.
Now you can see both CPU and heatsink are clean like new. I use this Corsair TM30 thermal paste cost around $15, it did a pretty good job on my other machine too. Apply enough thermal paste on the CPU, not too much, that's going to be able to spread over the entire chip. Carefully place the heat sink on top and install everything like the way we took it off. Before we put back the cover, clean up the dust inside the machine with a vacuum cleaner. Finally, we put on the back cover that pretty much line up where it was before, and then all those screws we had earlier just going to put back on. All right, now it's the time to check and see there's any temperature difference after the new thermal paste applies. Wow see the difference is amazing, CPU idle temperature dropped 24%, from 67 degrees Celsius to around 52 degrees Celsius, and stress testing temperature dropped 35%, from 105 degrees Celsius to around 68 degrees Celsius. Hope this video helped, thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe my channel.